this part, this millstone, is the only thing that remains from the original mill. Uh, when they did the thing for the foundation, this new, new mill, they found this in the ground. This is the only thing that remains. It weighs approximately one and a half tons. Yeah. They tumbled down when it burned. Oh wow, look at that, wow, it's amazing. Now we are inside the mill and you'll see and you can smell it as well. Yeah. This is a wooden structure. There are oak beams, very strong, and it's put together by these wooden pins. Yeah. yeah. And that is a very strong construction, and it's also easy to take it apart. Because when they construct the mill, it's first built up in the yard of the building company, then taken apart again and put together here again. Uh, Still over a thousand windmills of this type left in Holland. On the map over there, every thing yeah. represents a windmill. So there are a lot left. Yeah. There were a lot more in Holland. On the, there were over 10,000 mills originally in Holland. Yeah. And uh, this, this is what they mean. None of these mills is commercial anymore. It's just to preserve yeah. our history, yeah. to preserve our. Uh, I just gonna make. What you'll see here is the development of the wings, from a very simple <coughs> wing to a more complicated wing, and that increased the efficiency of the windmill. Yeah, this is um, another prediction. I lost pound it out, and I can I can run it for you. Oh, it's good. Thank it you. makes a lot of noise. Yeah, it's good. The, what we call the polder mill, mm -hmm. it was pumping the water. Oh. And pumping water in Holland was very important. Yeah. It keeps us alive. Yeah. Because <clears throat> on the map over there, the blue part of the Netherlands is the, the part that's vulnerable to floods. Yeah. And you need to pump that continuously. The pump. This is a water wheel. Yeah. And that pumps the water. It could lift the water by approximately one meter. Oh, that's good. But this is one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is by the Archimedean screw, which is here. Yeah. And we can turn that as well. Wow. See that pump the water as well. Yeah. And this is a very particular type of industrial windmill, this is the sawmill. Mm -hmm. It was cutting trees into... Yeah. Like this one? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And if, with this model, not only the top turns, but the whole thing yeah. turns. And the mill was originally built in 1778, mm -hmm. and that was not... was. It was built as an industrial mill, as a truss mill. Mm -hmm. And truss is this product. This is a very fine, fine stone. This is the original stone, mm -hmm. and that was ground to this fine level. So there was no more trade. Yeah. So in 1802, the mill stopped producing this. Yeah. It was sold, and now it was grinding tobacco. Okay. And this is the end result of the tobacco. That uh, fashion disappeared and in 1862 the mill was sold again mm -hmm. and now it was a flour mill. Mm -hmm. And But there was not a lot of work for the flour mill mm -hmm. because 1965 was also the time when the steam engine was developed, yeah, the electric motor, yeah. diesel engine. 
and they could do it much cheaper and better than it would be. Yeah. So around 1900, the mill stopped working and it was just sitting idle here. Mm -hmm. and it deteriorated in 1932 for, we don't know what reason, it yeah. got, did catch fire and it burned down completely. Okay. But yeah. it was a landmark in Haarlem. They, this one. This one. Oh. And they wanted to rebuild it, but they, they, they you... lacked the money. So around 2000, they got sufficient money together. Yeah. And then they, they built it. Uh, exactly the same specification yeah. as the old mill, but uh, totally new. Yeah. Okay. And the mill is in operation at the moment. Wow. Yeah. And that means that they are not allowed on that side for ah. safety reasons. Yeah. Because and uh, you have a nice view of, yeah. of the city here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's going to demonstrate. Okay. He's putting on the brake now. Yeah. Stop the mill. First, I have to get rid of the speed. Yeah. Before I stop the, the wings, because when I do that too, too quickly. Forces on the cross are enormous and then things can break. Okay. Dangerous for the mill. So that now it's stopped. Okay. See, now it's stopped. Right. Fasten it over there, uh, and then you have to make uh, a construction. And that's this wooden construction that has the same form as the sail of a ship. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's the center of Harlem, but the yeah. church. Yeah. That's the highest point of Harlem. That's a, a, a sandy. Yeah. yeah. It's not a hill, but it's it's it's, it's, it's a sandy position. Mm -hmm. These are the, these are the millstones. Yeah. These are two stones. The bottom one is stationary yeah. and the top one is driven by the wings. Not at the moment because it's not in gear. You can see here yeah. the wheel is just moved out of the way of these, these teeth. Yeah. But when you want to put it in gear you have to stop the mill mm -hmm. and then swing it in this direction and then start again. Okay. The grain is put in this box mm -hmm. and then fire the, sh the chute here. Yeah. It's shaken inside the middle of the stone, the hole in the stone. And then when the stones are turning, then the flower comes out here and disappears through that hole. Oh. And then downstairs it's put in bags. Oh, okay. And you have to lift the stone. Yeah. And this weighs approximately one and a half ton. You cannot do that by hand. No. So what they do is they take this off, the wood uh -huh. off, and then they swing that uh -huh. lifting device in this position. And then they put those hooks in here, the hole, uh -huh. and then they can lift it, swing it around, and they can work on it. Okay. This grain are lifted yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. And underneath here is a trap door. Yeah. And when the bag is underneath, it automatically opens the, the, the door and when it gets through, it closes again. So it's very safe operation. You can never fall through. 
Okay. Yeah, I have to push. Oh, is it going already? Yeah. Yeah. There she goes. The mill is away. Okay. Okay, we're done now to to do the tour in the windmill in Harlem. Then we're gonna go to another another place to show you also the other place. Yeah. yeah. And thank you. Okay, you're most thank, welcome. And, yeah, thank uh, you. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, okay, bye. Thank yep. you. Ayan, tapos na tayo sa windmill. pupunta tayo sa Corot de Marat tapos doon makikita mo din yung yung nakikita mo na yan yan yung ano yung Corot de Kerek big, ibig sabihin big church so, so ang laki niya guys Dito na tayo sa loob ng Krotokerek or Big Church. Ano siya? Siya historical uh, 
a church. Itinayo siya noong taong 14th century, 12,445. And Saint Babo. Tinatawag din siya na Harlem's Magnificent Cathedral. Saka nung unang panahon, nasunog pala ito siya. Tapos na natamaan din ng kidlat. Pero ni, ni reconstruct pa din nila. Ayan. Super ganda sa loob kaya. Saka super laki. Kung makikita mo talaga siya sa sa loob at labas talagang super laki na talaga. Ayan, ikot-ikot tayo. Ayan. Bawal masyadong ma, mag, malakas boses. Baka mapagalitan ako. Ayan, di ba? Ikot-ikot tayong konti. Palabas na ulit tayo. Punta ulit tayo sa ibang place. Ngayon pupunta naman tayo sa Franz Hals Museum. Itong Franz Hals Museum na to dalawa sila. Pero itong nasa na to, pupuntahan natin, maliit lang siya. Saka yung mga na, nasa loob niya, yung mga modern art. Ayan. Kaso hindi ako magdadala ng camera sa loob. So, ay, nang, nang, I cannot do, take video. So, magpipicture na lang ako doon. Saka ako i-ano dito sa, sa ano, i-insert na lang sa, sa video. Okay, let's see guys. Ito pala yung mga nakuhaan ko ng, ng mga picture sa loob. Ay. Yeah. Nice, ha? Huh? Yeah, you can add loafo. It's traditional wooden shoes. Yeah, Erod. Wow. Yeah, it's cool now. Wooden shoes. Yeah, come on. Baby. What you can say? <laughs> Your little blogger. <laughs> yeah, Lopa, Lopa. And dito naman tayo ngayon sa the Yukon Kerek Bar. So before it was a church. Tapos ginawa nila. So let's see inside. I will bring you there. Yeah. As you can see. Ayan, ganyan siya sa loob. Diba? Naging ano siya? Bar. Let's 
ici. Makikita mo yung mga bintana niya talagang hindi rin nila binago. Ayan. See? Ayan. So, lalabas na ulit tayo. Let's go to another place. Nandito naman tayo ngayon sa Ten Bone Museum. Ayan ang mga picture niya sa loob. Ayan. Ayan. Dito dati nagtago yung mga Jewish nung, nung World War II. So, yan sila nagtago sa loob. Huh? What do we can see there? Oh. Ayan, at ngayon, ito naman tayo sa Tyler's Museum. The oldest museum in the country. Ayan ang mga picture sa loob. Ayan. Hindi kasi ako nag-video na ng ano sa loob. Kaya nag-picture-picture na. Ayan.